Is someone there? I missed him. M m missed who? Who is that? Hugh McDonald. Is it Wednesday already? It's a Tuesday. I, I had to arrive earlier than planned. He's not going to like that. Worsley? I remember him as an easygoing man. Or has he grown cranky in his old age? Just preoccupied lately. He doesn't like change. He's a stubborn, obstinate man. It's rather bold of you. The year is 1882 in Kingston, Ontario. Hugh John MacDonald returns to the Bellevue House, a place where his father and current Prime Minister, Sir John A. MacDonald, used to live. Now, Hugh has recently lost his wife and plans to start a new life out west. But before he does that, he must come to terms with his family's tragic connection to this place. I'm sure things have changed since you lived here. I, I never lived here. You're thinking of their first child. He passed before I was born. Now, what are you hunting? A rabbit. It's been eating my lettuce. And he's in here somewhere, but I'll find him. I must say, you're the spitting image of him. I've heard it before. Do you know my father? No, no. Uh, but I read the papers. I have heard of his son, the lawyer. So what brings you to Kingston, Mr. McDonald? I thought I should visit the place my mother spoke so fondly of. See the garden and the orchard, the house, and of course, Lieutenant Colonel P.W. Worsley. He was my commanding officer in Prescott. Quite the coincidence. Perhaps I'll go find him and leave you to it. He's not home at the moment. He's out on business. But Maeve is inside. She'll look after you. Okay. Tell her Clara will be in soon to make supper. Nice to have you. Thank you. Welcome. You. Uh, have we met before? Yes. I didn't expect you to remember. We played outside. Archers on the North Lawn. You were a terrible shot. You lived here with your mother, and she was my mother's maid. Yes, Hannah. Anna and Mary. Maeve. Maeve. Yes, your Aunt Margaret brought you by just the once to show you the house where your parents had lived before you all moved to Toronto. And you hid under her skirts until mine brought out a tray of cookies. Please make yourself at home. Mr. Worsley will be here soon. No. Did you know my mother? No. Not really. Although mine did several portraits of her, which I became somewhat fixated on as a girl. She was very beautiful. Maeve's mother was the housekeeper at Bellevue House in the late 1840s when Sir John A. Macdonald lived there with his first wife, Isabella. So Maeve grew up in the house and she has memories of the sadness of that time. And now, over 30 years later, Maeve is the housekeeper at Bellevue for its current owner, P.W. Worsley. Clara! Clara! Maeve. Mr. Worsley, we have a guest. Did we not have a set of china? Green? Another one! Two sets! You think I'm a fool? No, sir. I, I can't find the other one. Not upstairs, anyway. Are you sure? Remember, you sir, we've looked high and low. As I mentioned, sir, we have a guest. What? Who's here? Hugh. Who? Hugh John. What? Hugh John McDonald. He's upstairs. No, he's not. He arrives Wednesday. Is it Wednesday already? No, Mr. McDonald arrived ahead of schedule. He'll be staying the night. I don't like that. Don't like that one bit. Well, he has arrived, and I've shown him to his room. Mm. Good. Good. Perhaps tomorrow we can have another look for the china. China! We must find it! The bumbling appraiser would have known crystal vase from a chamber pot. Chamber pots? Something the matter, Colonel? Fenians moving in? 
Grasping a pen, eh? Scholar? A lawyer. Whereabouts? A Toronto, until recently. I have plans to move west and start my own law practice. The Niagara's? Much more west. Winnipeg. Why on earth? A, a change of scenery. There's a sense of community there, excitement. High treason, rebellion, half-breed murderers. Not so. Not now. Since the expedition, a proper government... Uh, the Wolsey Trek. You were there, weren't you? Heard an area shot was fired. It, it took us nearly two months to reach Fort Garry. By the time we arrived, Riel and his people had already fled. Mm, disappointed, were you? Only slightly. I found the expedition to be invigorating. Camaraderie, adventure, time to breathe and think. But... Hauling thousand-pound cannons across two provinces is less than enjoyable, not nearly as glamorous as the esteemed colonel made it out to be. Nothing like the posters. Always the way. You remember Prescott? <laughs> the Fenian raids? Yeah. We were to thwart the nefarious advances of a well-polished American fighting force armed to the teeth. Damn fools barely knew how to hold guns, much less aim straight. Now, if I recall correctly, they, they were so ill-prepared with their ammunition stocks that they resorted to firing their cutleries out of their cannons. The only thing well-polished about that fighting force was its silverware. <laughs> I remember when you told that joke, sir. Oh, yes. You, um, came alone. You're a married man. Um... My wife uh, recently passed, sir. No. Hugh MacDonald. I was unaware. My condolences. Thank you. It's been nearly a year. We have a daughter, Daisy. Good, good. Is she as uh, good a shot as her old man? Uh, what was that uh, old song we used to sing? Oh, back, you know, uh, Tramp, Tramp, the tramp boys was are marching. Kick out your up, comrades, let them stay calm. And beneath the Union Jack, fear of comrades, let, let them stay calm. calm. We will drive the Fenians back and we'll fight for our beloved Canadian home. <laughs> Thank you.